You know how we do it. Guys, I am really, really excited right now. As you guys can tell by the title, I'm getting a new phone today. It's about time because I've had my iPhone 8 Plus for the longest time now. I think it's been like almost three years, so I'm due for a new phone. It's not like my phone's broken or anything. It's just been glitching a little bit. I use my phone for a lot of things, whether it's for social media, taking pictures, just a lot of things. I was debating if I want to get the iPhone 11 or 12, and I decided to get the iPhone 11. The 11 is still kind of new. It's not old. It's still a fairly new phone, only a year old, so I figured I'd just do that because I do also want to get a Canon G7X this summer for YouTube, so y'all will be having some better quality videos and plus I've never had a colorful iPhone before and I'm thinking of getting the green because it looks blue now we're gonna go to Verizon right now and we're gonna go get our phones I'm gonna show you guys and then we get home I'm gonna do an unboxing for you guys enough rambling I know I'm talking really fast but yeah let's go Actually, a week later as you guys can tell I'm in different clothes unfortunately they did not have the phones we wanted at the store I think it was because they didn't have the color we wanted I wanted the green so we did have to order them online and we got in a week later so I'm gonna be showing you guys what it looks like it's so pretty I'll show you guys a close-up this is what the phone looks like up close so pretty here's a little ASMR for you guys oh I did not know it opens like that beautiful box When I put it this way, you guys can see what the phone looks like. So we're gonna take the plastic off it's for you guys, so. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna order a screen protector on Amazon because they have some for like $5 really cheap, the glass ones. I love how, the one thing I love about the new iPhone is how thin it is not bulky or anything so I'll be right back um, I do need to charge this a good tip for you guys and I don't know if this is for all phones but specifically for iPhones definitely before you start using it charge it make sure it's a hundred percent charged because a lot of people when they get a new phone they want to jump in and start using it I mean especially when you get them at the store they usually like partially charged but since I got this shipped to me I don't even know if it's fully charged so I'm not even gonna turn it on they said to don't turn it on just um, start charging it and it'll once the phone turns on when you charge it it was it should say the percentage if it's not 100% make sure it's fully at 100% and then you can chant to your phone and do all the stuff you want to do with it of course I got to show you guys the inside let me fix the screen for you guys so this is what it has see the way they wrap it they really making you think that they're airpods but they're really not that's what my mom thought when she opened hers, but I'm like, no, mom, you gotta buy them. They're like $100 or more. And then there's a the charger. I usually use longer chargers, but I usually keep these, you know, put them in my purse if I'm going anywhere and I need a charge. Um, or for portable chargers, I usually use these type of chargers for portable chargers. I usually get like the six feet one. Sometimes I'm not near where I plug in my phone and I need a, a longer one, you know, so it's in use and I can use my phone while it's charging. Hey guys, so it is like two days later. I had some difficulties transferring my old phone to my new phone and a SIM card and all that stuff. So I had to go to Verizon, but they fixed everything. Everything is all cool. I actually ordered a new case and a screen protector on Amazon. Um, if you guys want links to those, I'll link them down below. Another reason is because it took a while for me to do my widgets mints for my new phone because I wanted to change up the aesthetic and everything. I actually did a video last summer on how to do the iOS 14. It's on my iPhone with the iOS 14. Um, so if you guys do want to check that out, I'll link it down below along with my old what's on my iPhone video when I first got my iPhone 8 Plus. This took like a couple hours to redo my widget smiths and uh, redo the, the apps on my phone. So I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. This is the new case that I got on Amazon. It's just a regular basic clear um, iPhone protective case. It's really protective. Um, it kind of lifts on the phone if that makes sense. So if anything drops, it won't be hitting directly on the screen. There's like a little barrier right where the case is. Now I'm going to screen record my phone so I can show you guys what's on my iPhone. Some of the apps are the same. I do have some different ones on here, but I'm really just showing you guys this because I did change my wi widget smiths and my background, my wallpaper, all of that. So, so this is the first part you see on my phone. Um, the layout is the same as the old one. I just changed the background, the pictures, and the apps. So for my medium um, color widget, I have just my where it shows my percentage, the time, the day, and the date. Um, the picture is just a really cute, you know, lights picture. Um, I kind of wanted to keep this theme kind of like spring and summer. So, and then for my small um, 
widget at the bottom I just picked this really cute picture from Pinterest it's just um, just a picture of the water with a nice rose on the water um, the water looks like a sage green all these pictures I got from Pinterest including the apps and stuff so I have my regular apps that I usually have on my first page which are the photos cameras Safari weather Instagram TikTok, Pinterest YouTube snapchat Twitter Facebook and Gmail um, I don't really use Twitter, but you know, I kind of just wanted to keep all my social medias on the first page and that's how it's always been. Um, but as you guys can tell, the pictures on the apps kind of go with what the app is. So of course, on the iPhone, when it comes to camera roll, it has a flower, so I decided just to put a pretty uh, white rose there. For the camera, I just put, you know, a camera, just a Polaroid camera. Um, and then for Safari, since it's online, uh, that's the internet. I decided to put, I just found this picture of a bunch of like old 90s, 2000s like computers and stuff. And then for the weather, you know, the weather app uh, for iPhone is the clouds. I put clouds and then Instagram is usually the camera lens. Uh, TikTok, it looks like a music note, so I just put a music note. Pinterest, I couldn't really find something, so I just searched up uh, push pins and that's what I put for that. YouTube, um, just used a camera of somebody videotaping something. Uh, Snapchat just put somebody's aesthetic streaks. Twitter, the dove bird of course. Facebook, a book. And then for Gmail, it's just a bunch of like a pile of old mails, you know, piled on top of each other. You go to the next page, I have all the stuff that's to do with money, which is why I have my affirmation that says money flows to me from many different sources. That's what I've been manifesting and that's what I will continue manifesting for the rest of my life because we live in the society right now where it's no more oh I get money from one source you know we live in a world now where a lot of people are getting paid and a lot of people get paid from different sources of money and I want to have at least five or six sources of income so and I don't think that's too much I mean a lot of the richest people out there have so many different sources of income even social media influencers even celebrities whether it comes to modeling doing social media singing acting um, all just whatever you do so definitely in the future I want to have a lot of different sources of income so I have all my apps have to do with money PayPal which is you know my pay a payment method if anybody wants to pay me money for anything particular or if I have to do a Jean Boutique because uh, Depop um, uh, uses PayPal as a payment method then I have my bank which is Chase then I have Venmo which we also use for Jean Boutique Zelle which is just for personal I don't use that for uh, we don't use that for our business. I just use that personally in case, you know, with family or friends. Um, then I have Fetch Rewards. You guys know what Fetch Reward is. It's basically like a receipt app and you get points off of it. And then you can use those points and put it on a card, like a Visa card, Amazon card, or whichever store they have on there. Cash App, another payment method we use for Jane Boutique or I use it personally. Fiverr, it's, um, what's it called? It's a freelance app, so you can basically, people will pay you to do anything on there, whether it's editing your pictures or videos, doing thumbnails, doing vo voiceovers. Um, there's so many different things. Maybe you're handwriting a nice uh, gift card or a birthday card for somebody. You can literally do anything on Fiverr and people will pay you for it, which is really cool. Um, so I'm going to be starting to do that during the summer cause, so I can have another source of income. Coin Out is another receipt app, so I have two of them. Depop, of course, we sell on Depop, so definitely follow Jean Boutique on Depop. Redbubble is another kind of like freelance app, but basically these are, the Red, Redbubble is specifically for people that are more in the artistic section, people who like to design, do art and stuff like that, and basically if you design an image, or design anything, Redbubble will turn into any of the merch that they have on their website, whether it's t-shirts, backpacks, phone cases, stickers, posters, water bottles, literally anything. So if you're really good at drawing or just doing art and making cool designs, um, Redbubble will sell it with the merch that they have on there and you'll get commission from it. Um, then I have Find My iPhone. I put the iPhones because obviously Find My iPhone. Waze, you know, it's just good to, um, it's a map app, you know, if you need to find directions or to see if there's any traffic anywhere, you know, just a directions app. And we have Uber, of course. I don't really use Uber that much, but I still have it on my main pages because sometimes I use it. Um, YouTube Studio, I use this, you know, to do my thumbnails, um, my descriptions, just all of that. Um, Roku, I have a Roku TV. You guys can't see it, but it's over there in the corner. So sometimes if I can't find the remote or if I'm in somebody's, uh, somebody's house, I can connect my Roku to their Roku TV and just use the remote on my phone. 
um, Spotify because that's Spotify Premium. I know people are like, how are you? How do you have an iPhone but don't have Apple Music? The reason why is because Apple Music you have to pay for. And before I started paying for any type of music streaming service, I started using Spotify because there's free Spotify. There's no there's no free Apple Music. So I'm like, when I was in high school and I used to listen to music, I didn't pay for any of my music, so I just use Spotify. And since all my songs are on there. I was like, you know, if I get Apple Music, I have to transfer all those songs into my um, Apple Music, and I just figured I'll just leave it like that and just keep and just use um, Spotify Premium. Then I have my notes and then my documents. My documents, you know, of course, for like if I download any music for YouTube and etc. Then on my next page, oh, also the reason why um, I wanted to keep a minimum of how many pages I have on my phone because before if you guys saw my last video that's to do with iOS 14 I had like seven pages just to get to a certain app I had to like go through all these pages it took forever so I just decided to keep it down to four pages and then all my apps are on the app library so um, when it comes to this page even though it's more about money like my money apps I just kept just the other ones that I still use every day but just put it at the bottom um, next is all my editing apps for pictures and videos. Now, <laughs> I know it looks like I use a lot of apps just to edit pictures, but not all of these apps I use for Instagram pictures. Some of them I use them for YouTube. Um, I will be doing like a video on how I edit my Instagram pictures. So let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that video, but Pic Collage, I just use that of course if I need a picture of collages. Usually we use this for Depop if we have multiple pictures of an item because Depop only lets you post four pictures so sometimes if there's more pictures we want our customers to see of a certain item we just use a collage because I don't really post collages like on my Instagram. Canva, um, this is what I use for. Canva I'm going to start using for Redbubble. I haven't started using it yet um, but I want to start using it for that. Velo, um, obviously because I do have a new camera I'm not going to be, you know, editing my videos on my phone anymore. I, I edit on my laptop now, on my MacBook, so I'm going to be deleting this, but I just kept it just in case. Um, Lightroom, you know, that's where I, that's the only app that I really edit my pictures on. Vision Board is just a vision board app. Um, PicMonkey, I use that. I don't really use it that much, but I sometimes use it for YouTube, um, for my YouTube thumbnail. It kind of just helps you size the picture that you need for your thumbnail. Fonto, I use it for my fonts for my YouTube thumbnails. Um, Unum is kind of how I organize my Instagram feed because I do kind of have like a theme or kind of like way that I post my Instagram pictures. All of the colors kind of go together. I have like a very like earth tone neutral type feed. So Unum really helps me do that. There's a bunch of other apps that are organization feeds for your Instagram. Then I have Remini. Um, this is for like if I have any blurry pictures or pictures that I need to be clear. I use this mainly for like my YouTube videos because I want my thumbnail pictures to be really clear. Um, or sometimes I use it for my Instagram pictures but I rarely use it for that. Snapseed is just to make the background wider so maybe I'm taking a picture of something and has a white background. I use that just to make the uh, white brown uh, the background a lot more whiter and just brighter and stuff But it's also just a general editing app that you can use for pictures, but I don't really use them for my pictures I just use it to brighten up the background um, Then for calendar, you know, it's just calendar Google photos like I said in my last iPhone video um, You know I have I take a lot of pictures especially for Instagram or just in general so if you have a lot of pictures in your camera roll and it's like filling up your storage uh, definitely download Google Photos because you can put all of your pictures and they'll download on there and you can delete the rest of the pictures from your camera roll. So that's where I keep all my photos anytime I delete anything just to free up storage. Then I have Line Camera. I sometimes use this to edit my Instagram um, pictures. Retouch. This is for like if there's anything in the background of my photos that I don't want there, I could just clear it up. And it clears up so quickly. I think Retouch you got to pay for. I think it was like 99 cents or... A dollar ninety nine is really cheap. You only pay it once. It's not like a subscription type app, but I do believe they have a section in Retouch where you can pay for other stuff. But I just use it just to clear up, uh, just to just take out anything I don't want in the picture. Then I have all my bookmarks. I couldn't change that. I can't change my bookmarks into a shortcut for um, 
you know a picture because it is bookmarked so. oh guys I'm so sorry the last slide I forgot to show you guys what my um, affirmation is so the affirmation is capture every moment as if it's your last I just wanted to use like a cute little um, you know camera or photography type affirmation because all of these have to do with editing pictures and videos um, and then my last slide is all of my all the stuff that I shop you know so basically ASOS Zara yes style the real real um Vestaire Vestaire I think Vestaire or Vestaire I can't I can't pronounce it right but it's the same thing as a real real um you can buy used or new um designer pieces on there bags jewelry clothes um for cheap so it's basically the same thing as the real real then I have my Starbucks because you know I love Starbucks I don't go there too often but I need to go more um but yeah, so Starbucks, then I got Amazon. I literally buy stuff on Amazon every week. It's literally really bad. Or my family orders every week. I have Amazon Prime. Then I got Princess Polly, the GOAT. That is for any shoes or anything like that. You know, I want to like up my sneaker game because I don't really have that much sneakers, but I want to get more into sneakers, especially Jordans. So, and I want to buy some more Converse. Those are the two shoes that I really want to get. Some more Jordans and Converse and some more Air Force Ones. Um, Particularly just white because the Air Force ones I have are custom made by my friends. So, yeah. And then Shein and then Blushmark. Blushmark is another like clothing um, online website that is similar, very similar to Shein. Um, so, yeah. And then the rest is all in my app library. I try to just keep a minimum of having four pages because I don't want to be scrolling through all these pages just to get to a certain app so yeah oh and then at the bottom is just all my contact stuff so the phone the brown phone right here is you know my contacts when you call anyone then this is for texting the one with the heart and the question mark and then i have the other one with the phone which is for whatsapp um whatsapp is an app where you can um literally call facetime text anybody that that lives in a different country so i have a lot of family that lives all around the world so this is the app this is the app that i use if i want to contact anybody or just text anybody or facetime and then i got my facetime app so yeah that is everything that is in my phone my screensaver is just my uh vision board so yeah I hope you guys liked this video. Um, I feel like I've been filming for so long, so I need to cut down a lot. Um, but yeah, definitely let me know if you guys are getting a new iPhone this summer or this year, or if you or if you guys do have an iPhone 11, um, and comment down which color you have. And follow all my social medias down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.